I started by ripping the top trim off of a fish tank, and then I ran an X-Acto blade down between the front pane and the side pane so that I can snap the front of this tank off. In order to snap the glass, I score it with a standard glass cutting tool, and then I just put a bunch of weight on it, and it's supposed to snap along the score. Unfortunately, it snaps along this arc instead, but I'll work with it. In order to make my mountains, I use PVC plastic, and I've siliconed these in place so that the two corners of the tank are open, where I can have a little water pump on the corners. I use Great Stuff spray foam, and I just spray that all over in order to create the structure of the mountains, and then I press fit rocks into that Great Stuff, and I attach them with more silicone glue. A lot of the Great Stuff is still exposed, and I want to press mud onto it, but unfortunately the mud's not sticking. So first, I put down a layer of Spanish moss. I attach this with silicone as well. Now that my mountain is pretty covered with this Spanish moss, I mix up a 50-50 mixture of coconut fiber and dirt. I add some water and I get this spongy mud material, and I will cover the mountains with this. With the mud packed down, it is time to add the moss. I've collected this moss over the last week or so, a bunch of different clumps of different species, and I've just sprayed it down every day to keep it wet. And it seems to be doing pretty well. Hopefully all of these different species end up working in this terrarium, but if not, I'll be able to replace clumps that die with species that seem to take a little better. With that done, it's finally starting to look like a pair of two mountains, and I'm really happy with this. I was surprised at how well the moss stuck even to vertical surfaces. You had to press it in pretty hard, but it did stick. Some of the moss, though, is a bit underwater, so I cut that stuff off before it dies on me. In order to make this look more like a mountainside, I add little pockets into the short moss, and then I add clumps of longer moss into those pockets, which makes it look like there's some grass where the shorter moss is, and then the little uh, clumps of longer moss look like shrubbery or trees on the mountainside. Next, I add some mini succulents to the drier areas of the paludarium. So one in the center, I got a pocket on the right, and then another pocket on the left. In order to improve the drainage for these, I added some gravel under the dirt. Hopefully they don't end up getting too wet in this setup. This setup with the great stuff in the rocks wasn't perfectly waterproof. So at first the mountains didn't flow how I wanted, and I had water leaking down the sides and the back but I added some more silicone sealant, and eventually I was able to get all the water to pour down the front of the mountains. There are two caves, one on each side, and that's where the water recirculates. There's a little piece of mesh, and then the water goes through the gravel, through the mesh, and then back to the pump. The water area was looking kind of bland, so I added some duckweed, and the motion of the water from the waterfalls kind of circulates the duckweed around, giving a little bit more interest to the water area. And now for the final addition that I am shamelessly taking from some of the other YouTube videos of paludariums. These are mist makers, and they go on the top of each of the mountains. Now the mist looks a little more pronounced in person than it does on video, uh, but I gotta say, it looks really cool. It makes the mountain look a lot more to scale, 
like it's throwing off tons of water as opposed to just being a little trickle. If I wanted even more mist, I could also put the mist maker a little closer to the surface, but I'm pretty happy with how it's set up right now.